So we've been featuring these Our Home Spotlight videos, different areas to live in Knoxville. And let's say that you're on the fence about moving to this great city and you wanna know, well, what are the pros and cons of living here? This week's Our Home Spotlight features the pros and the cons of living in Knoxville, Tennessee. Okay, so I'm a bad news first kind of girl, so I would like to start with the cons of living in Knoxville. Number one is especially petrifying for me because I hate them, and that is bugs. Fun fact, but I guess only if you're an entomologist, is there are 1,173 different species of bugs in Knoxville, Tennessee. Obviously, that might be a deterrent for a lot of you, but let me tell you something. There are some great companies here as far as exterminators are concerned, and you know, that kind of ties in with the great outdoors, which, spoiler alert, is gonna be one of the pros, but that is con number one. So, the con number two might be a really big one for you, and that is crime. Knoxville, Tennessee actually has one of the highest crime rates in America. Now, what's really interesting about this is if you talk to any local here, they're gonna say, uh, what? There's no way that's true. Knoxville actually feels really safe. Now, when you look into what type of crime is predominant in Knoxville, it's going to be property-related crime. So, two things to consider. You can, obviously, live in a safer part of town. And if you need a real estate expert to help you with that, our home of EXP Realty has got you covered. But the secondary thing to consider is a security system. Obviously, that is going to be a big deterrent when you consider crime. Now, I do have to say that crime in Knoxville has significantly dropped since the early 2000s, so it's on an upward trajectory to becoming a safer place to live. Con number three is one that everyone will forever complain about, whether you've lived here your whole life or not, and that is allergies. Knoxville, Tennessee is actually number 35 on the list of 100 top places in America for allergies, so it's pretty high up there. In the spring, you're going to have pollen all over everything. Everything turns yellow. In the fall, it's gonna be a lot of ragweed. So really, it's kind of a seasonal thing that happens every six months. There's no way to avoid it unless you take allergy medicine, maybe use a holistic approach like the neti pot. You can combat the allergies that way. But hey, I want you to consider the fact that the reason the allergies are so bad isn't because of smog or pollution, it's because of the great outdoors, which happens to be one of the pros of living here as well. But number three, allergies. If you hate them, maybe Knoxville's not the right place for you. Okay, so con number four may really hit you where it hurts, and that is Knoxville, Tennessee has historically low pay rates. The average pay rate here is going to be around $42,000, $43,000 a year, and that is kind of harsh, especially when you consider that rent has gone way up and home prices have gone way up as well. Now, here's something to consider. The trajectory of Knoxville is definitely looking upward. In fact, in fact, the job growth predictor is rating much higher than the overall national job growth predictor here specifically in Knoxville. I think that has a lot to do with the fact that we've got some big companies coming into town. For instance, there's an Amazon distribution center that is in the way of completion here in Knoxville. Of course, that's going to open up a lot of jobs. So there's a lot of companies that are really coming here for all kinds of various reasons. I think that'll really help you in your job search. And hey, another option for you as well. If you you just love Knoxville and want to live here, you can always work remote and that'll give you bigger markets to choose from when getting your income. Okay, so con number five may impact your day-to-day -day life if you choose to live in Knoxville, Tennessee, and that is traffic. Because I-40 and I-75 are the major thoroughfare between North and South, and it runs directly through all of Knoxville, that is going to be an issue, especially when it comes to any times of big holiday travel or if there's road construction or a car accident, you will have cars and trucks backed up for miles. Now, the good news is there are a lot of great alternate routes that all of the locals know, and obviously if you live here, you will know those too. And Knoxville is actually rated really high in terms of safe drivers, so that's another perk to consider, at least your safety is in check and uh, you know maybe you can catch up on that audiobook or all those podcasts you love while you wait in traffic. 
So con number six to living in Knoxville, Tennessee is going to be bad air quality. In fact, Knoxville is sadly ranked number 25 worst in metro area pollution. Hmm, not great, right? However, the number one factor to the bad air quality here is going to be pollen, which we did mention earlier. And again, it's not like a big city where there's gonna be constant smog and pollution. It's just gonna be bad air quality because everything is beautiful. I mean, that's not so bad, right? Okay, so our final con of living in Knoxville is going to be water pollution. Doesn't sound great, right? It's not. In fact, the Tennessee River is rated one of the 20 most polluted rivers in America. Mm, yeah. That's why you don't see anybody swimming in it. But here's the good news for you. There are nine beautiful swimmable lakes in the Knoxville surrounding area. So that's where you will see people enjoying the water. And of course, there's a lot of really great fishing in Knoxville as well. So as long as you're not in the Tennessee River, you should be fine. But hey, you can even take really cool riverboat cruises. I mean, that's fun, right? Just don't dip your feet in the water. Now, we've given you all of the cons, but hopefully you stuck around for the pros because they are doozies. Are you ready? Here are the top seven pros to living in Knoxville. So one of the biggest pros to living in Knoxville, Tennessee is going to be low property taxes. In fact, Tennessee has some of the lowest property taxes in the United States, so much so that the median property tax that most residents pay is half the national average. That's gonna be a big pro for a lot of you that want to relocate to Knoxville. So another major pro to living in Knoxville is going to be Southern hospitality. From Southern terms of endearment, like sugar, honey, baby, darling, to all of the politeness that comes with it. You know, yes, sir, no, sir, yes, ma'am. By the way, don't take it offensively if somebody calls you ma'am, okay? It's not an age thing, it's a respect thing. Knoxvillians are notoriously polite. There is something to be said for that Southern charm, and the people are as sweet as the sweet tea you can get here as well. So one of the biggest pros to living in Knoxville, Tennessee, and it's number three, is the great outdoors. Knoxville is one of the most accessible areas in terms of having outdoor living directly in your city. So we're talking about greenways, we're talking about paddling, hiking, kayaking, all of these things and more. There's even like world famous bike trails here. So if you love mountain biking, we've got you covered. Knoxville is fantastic for outdoor spaces. Even beautiful parks like Lakeshore Park where we are right now. There are so many incredible outdoor spaces to enjoy. And with the fantastic weather that Knoxville has, you're gonna be able to enjoy it throughout the year. In fact, that leads us to pro number four for living in Knoxville, Tennessee, which is location. Knoxville is actually known as the gateway to the Great Smoky Mountains, which is the most visited national park in all of America. And consider this as well. It's within a day's drive to so many fantastic areas from Asheville to Atlanta to Nashville. You can easily be just about anywhere you want to be and still live away from it all and pay lower property taxes in Knoxville, Tennessee. One of my favorite reasons for living in Knoxville, Tennessee, and it's pro number five, is it is dog friendly. In fact, Knoxville has actually been rated as one of the dog friendliest cities in America. And all you need to do is go to any outdoor space and you're gonna see that that is emphatically true. In fact, when you're strolling around downtown in the Market Square area, you're gonna see all of these leashed pups and you'll even see people sitting out on the balconies or the porches of restaurants where the restaurant will even provide water and sometimes treats for your furry friend. So it's really fun if you do have animals. There are tons of dog parks all around provided by PetSafe. In fact, there are special dog parks that have water features like lakes and streams they can swim in. There are dog parks that have specifically small breed versus large breed sides. It is such a fun place if you love your furry friends and you want them to enjoy life with you. Knoxville's definitely gonna be it for you guys. Okay, one of the reasons you're gonna love living in Knoxville is because it's gonna keep you young. 
That's right. The median age of the resident in Knoxville, Tennessee is 32.9 years. And it's not surprising when you consider that there are 60 plus bars and restaurants where you can go to hear live music. And in downtown Knoxville alone, there are over 90 restaurants that you can go to, a lot of them local and most of them within walking distance to each other. So it's a really young, fun, vibrant place. That's why a lot of new families are starting here. And that's why a lot of people are choosing to raise their existing families here because there's so much to do in the way of entertainment. And it really does have that youthful spirit to it. So we've mentioned all the beautiful outdoor spaces, but obviously you can't enjoy them unless you've got good weather. Oh wait, that is the final pro to living in Knoxville. You have exceptional weather here. In fact, the weather is going to average around a low of 31 degrees Fahrenheit and a high of around 88 degrees Fahrenheit. And very seldom is it ever going to get below 17 degrees or higher than 94 degrees. One of the other perks you're really going to love is Knoxville has decided seasons. So that is to say that the coldest portion of the year is going to last around three months. The hottest portion of the year is going to last around three months. And then you'll have three months and three months of um, mild temperatures there. So you're talking about actual winter, spring, summer, fall. If you love the four seasons, oh my gosh, Knoxville's perfect for you. And let me tell you something, the average snowfall here is going to be way lower than the national average by a lot. And one of the perks that the locals either love or hate, I personally love it, is if it even threatens snow, everything will shut down. Like you just get a snow day just for fun. There doesn't even have to actually be snow. It's the best. So Knoxville is definitely really fun. And if you've never seen fall in East Tennessee, oh, be still my heart. It's the most beautiful thing ever. It's one of the reasons why people travel from all over the nation to experience it for themselves. So definitely check out fall in Knoxville. But hey, you may be able to check out all the seasons if you choose to have Knoxville as your new home. And speaking of new home, if you're in the market for one and maybe Knoxville is the place for you, then definitely call the professionals at our home of eXp Realty. The number is 865-500-HOME. So whether you're looking to buy a house and get the absolute best deal possible, or maybe you're listing your home and you wanna make the most money imaginable, either way, we've got you covered. Definitely give us a call and we would love to help you out. By the way, thank you for all of your great comments. I know a lot of you have relocated to Knoxville because of the Our Home Spotlight videos, and we're so grateful. If there's ever a place you want featured in Knoxville, make sure to comment below. As always, make sure to like and subscribe to this video so that you don't miss any of the our Home Spotlight videos coming up in the near future. And until next time, see you then.